Good afternoon, loud and proud crowd. So what we have going on today is a little bit of something kind of fun and just sheer entertainment. It's going to be featuring my grandfather. We call him Grandpa Loud and Proud. And uh, he loves the camera thing. He, he, he just eats it up. So what we're going to be doing is filming with him, his reaction on this truck and driving that first head. But one thing I want to mention really quick is this truck is up for a giveaway right now. So if you want a chance to win this 2002 Ram 3500, 24 valve Cummins diesel do not forget to enter information is in the description below you guys are down to about 20 days left do not miss out on your opportunity to be handed the keys to this beautiful rust free 140,000 mile 24 valve Cummins let's get into the video so we're gonna go and get this here truck started up and then pick him up bring him back here get his reaction on that and then we're gonna get on down the road in this truck but this will be fun I assure you it will be fun so for starts we're gonna actually have my grandfather drive this truck and just have a little bit of fun with it then we're gonna get back and hopefully get a rolling shot are you ready to drive this truck I'm ready as I'll ever be so we're gonna get on down the road and uh, have a little bit of fun with this it's not anything crazy but it's fun put it on the floor the other one <laughs> I can get in without using a step ladder. Yeah. She's struggling to shift gears there. <laughs> shift is good. Yeah. Oh yeah, and you said that you got your Dakota running. Yeah, got the brakes fixed on it. So if you guys remember back, I got him that white Ram because his Dakota was having some issues at the time, but he said he got to fix it. He got it all fixed up and it's driving around the farm again. The farm, but it, it doesn't shift out of second in time where it's like it's supposed to. Yeah. I, I don't know what the problem is, but. Well, this one doesn't shift sometimes too. So we're gonna get another shot here, but my fiance Reagan is actually gonna grab the camera for us and she's gonna get a rolling shot of this thing blowing some smoke. So what are your thoughts on the uh, the old compound turbo first gen? It's still got it. It's still got it. Still got it. A million miles, oil leak pretty bad, but it still goes down the road. Did you get a lot of smoke out the back? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I have to see that. <laughs> he wants to see how much smoke he got going on there. You could have hopped in if I knew you were coming back here. You guys have ever seen the back now of this truck. you tell them after they walk all the way yeah <laughs> yeah so anyways this truck he has never seen in person <laughs> new trucks all the time so it's hard to keep him up to date with everything but what are your first thoughts when you see this truck rolling down the road what's the first thing that comes to mind uh that's more than i would need <laughs> <laughs> In a lot of different ways. Yeah, it's a nice looking truck. Yeah, it's it's pretty clean. You want to see the interior of it? Yeah. It should have the key on me. I'll unlock it. So you guys, keep in mind, you guys could be winning this truck. I'm giving this one away too. Oh, you are. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice seat. I like that color, that tan. So it's got power windows, power seats, up, down, front, back, power seats on the other side. It's got heated seats. It's a six-speed manual transmission. It's got all your gauges to watch your fuel pressure, your exhaust temperature, your turbo boost. Folding rear doors like your truck, so that's, oh, that's yeah. nice. Rear seat's probably never been sat in. And uh, no rust on it. What do you think that's about nice. that? That's nice. It's a 2002. 
Oh, it is? Yeah. That old? Yeah, it's an O2. Now, did you put the bed on it? No, or I what? didn't put the bed on it. That bed was like that one oh, I bought. Oh, really? It. Yeah. Oh. It's a nice bed, too. These beds are five to seven grand just for that. No, oh, I can believe it. Just for those aluminum beds because they don't rest on you. Yeah. So what do you think about the tires and the wheels on this thing, though? My truck has got the chrome yeah. rims, and I'm starting to kind of like these rims on these. The black, black and machined and the, look? Yeah. Yeah. They grow on you. Yeah. I think they look pretty good. I haven't done too many close-up videos of these, but these are the Fuel Triton 20 by 12s. They've got like that gloss black look. It's mm -hmm. a little bit dusty, but it's got like a gloss black look with a machined accent to it. And it kind of looks, it look, gives good. it a good look, looks especially good. with the black cab lights and the black headlights on it. Gives it that uh, nice look. Now, what are your thoughts on the chrome strips on the truck? I like it. You like it? Oh yeah. Some uh, people like, like it, some stuff. people hate it. I think it looks good on this truck. It's real good. The guy says it was a factory option for a very, very few select oh, trucks. Was? I've only seen it on a very, very few I've number of trucks. I've never seen them on any of them. Yeah, I've, I hardly ever see that, but he says it was an old school factory option, but I don't know. Now, if it's a little dollar, I can look at that engine a little bit better. <laughs> now with those wheels and tires, it's so big, but... Just got the basics. It's a 5924 valve. It's got the SMB intake on this side. So SMB. It, when did it start the 24 valve? In 98 and a half. 98 and a half. Yep. Now my final question. It's Don't a big make, one. Don't make it too hard. Oh no, it's not a very hard one. At least it is. It wouldn't be for most people. If you had the opportunity to spend just $15 to enter to win a truck like this for that cheap. Do you think people should take up the opportunity? I would think so. <laughs> I've seen a few of them go out the driveway to Indiana, to Ohio, Ohio Tennessee, Tennessee, South Carolina, South Carolina, now Michigan. Michigan. <laughs> yeah, people are winning their dream trucks for next to nothing. It's actually it's pretty crazy, and a lot of these people, when you actually get to talk to them, a lot of them are like. They're just super good-hearted people, you know. Any of them calling you back? I'm yeah, I get texts back and messages all the time. Yeah. Yep. What do you think of this giant truck? Do you like it? Yes. Yeah. What do you think about the little truck? Do you like the little truck? No. No. <laughs> no. Both of them don't like the little truck. Did you ever see what happened to our old 73 there? Not really. It got wrecked. You remember hearing about that? I think I do remember somebody saying that you did you didn't roll it, did he? No, Evangeline was driving it, and it was one of the coldest. We it was weird because it the temperatures were coming back up towards like 40s, and then one night it got down to like the 20s, and then the next morning she was driving this, and all that you know thawing and then freezing, she hit a patch of ice and it spun around and threw her in a ditch. Hmm. Luckily, it didn't roll. Damage? No, it was um. Well, the bed's pretty much the only thing that really got hurt. This side got damaged a little bit, and the wheels and tires got a little bit banged up and stuff. And basically, a new bed. Yeah, basically, it just needs a new bed and some small rust fixes. But it doesn't really need anything to drive. Technically, if you put air in these tires, we can take it down the road and the cruise works and everything mm -hmm. drives straight as an arrow. But yeah, old whitey. Seen better days. This one's an O2 as well. Not quite as <laughs> same truck. Not not quite as in good of shape. I wonder if it'll start. You guys want to see if this thing will start? You want you want to see if it'll start? Go ahead. We'll see if it starts. It ain't been raining in a long time. Bad batteries. Did you enjoy that little ride in the first gen? Yes, I did. You get the right guy that hauls oh, the cattle. Oh, hauls Horsey. cattle, wood, hay bales. Oh yeah, that's that's nice. Or just four wheelers, a side by side, a ranger. I mean, you can haul whatever you want with this. And these fold down, so if you have something wider than the truck that you need oh, to haul, really? like on a farm or yeah. something, you can mm -hmm. you can haul whatever you need. You getting some ideas? Are you wanting to do something like this here, Dakota? Yeah, I let go for that. Be the only one in the world look like that. Yeah, it might be. <laughs>
thank you for making this video worth watching. All right, young man. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, guys enjoyed it. Do not forget to enter to win this truck. Every fifteen dollars you spend gets you another entry to win, and you guys could be taking this truck home and setting it in your driveway. Thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.